and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving Leet Code Problem 1485, Clone Binary Tree with Random Pointer. Before we get into it, you guys know the drill, please subscribe and like the video, it really helps my channel grow. Alright, a binary tree is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the tree or null. Return a deep copy of the tree. The tree is represented in the same input output as a normal binary tree where each node is represented as a pair of value and random index where value is an integer representing node.val and random index is the index of the node in the input where the random pointer points to or null if it does not point to any node. You will be given the tree in class node and you should return the clone tree in class node copy. Node copy is just a clone of the node class with the same attributes and constructors. So we have seen this type of question before. We've been asked to clone a linked list, we've been asked to clone a graph, and the approach that we want to take is very similar. Now let's look at an example and think about how we might want to solve this. Look at an example uh, tree here. So we're given this tree and we can see the root has a value 1. Its random pointer doesn't point to anything. Its left pointer points to nothing. It doesn't have a left child. Its right pointer points to this node 4, whose random pointer points to this node 7. This tree has a node left, which is this node 7. And this uh, tree does not have a right child, so it's null. And then the left child here, this 7, has a random pointer to the root. So. The approach that we want to take is the same approach that we used for cloning a graph and cloning our linked list. And that is to basically have a dictionary which maps the old value. So the old value, oops, old to the copy. And this way we can keep track of the nodes that we've copied and then we have an access to their copy so we can update the copy. So essentially what we want to do is we want to perform a BFS through our tree and basically uh, we're going to process node by node and if we've basically processed, you know, its left pointer We should already have uh, something in here so we don't have to copy it again. If not, we're going to copy that left pointer um, The node at the left pointer and add it to our copy dictionary and then basically add it uh, For further processing and we need to update all of the pointers as well once we've done it so that's the general gist. Let's kind of go through this and look at what our, um, you know, solution would be line by line. So obviously we initialize our queue. So the first item in here is going to be our root. So we have uh, in our queue, we're going to say it is the node one. So we'll have this node one. So we pop it and we haven't already cloned it. So we need to clone that node. So we're going to say the node, the original node, and we will, I guess we'll use a circle for the original and we'll use a um, box for the copy. So we'll say box. So we have copied the node one. Now node one doesn't have any children and it doesn't have a random pointer. So we don't need to copy anything there. Uh, sorry, it doesn't have a left child and it doesn't have a right child, but it does have a uh, right pointer. So we want to add that to the queue. So this one's process. So we're going to add this four to the queue. And um, what we need to do is we also need to uh, copy the right pointer. So we need to copy the right. So we want to copy the right and we want to copy it. And now what we want to do is we want to link the right child. So we'll say, you know, the copy of one, it's right child. We want to link it to this copy now. And now we can continue through our BFS. So now we process the node four. So we can see that um, it has no right child, so we don't need to do anything there. It has a left child. So let's copy that left and add it to the queue. So we're going to copy it. So we're going to make a copy of the left. And now we're going to link the left child of the four to the seven. And uh, does this one have a random pointer? Uh, it does, but the random pointer is actually the left child. So we don't need to recopy it because we've already copied it. So now we're done and then we can add the seven to the queue for further processing. So now we're going to process the seven. So the seven doesn't actually have any left or right child. So that's fine. But we just need to process the, um, the pointer here for the random. And it actually points to a node that we've already copied. So we don't need to copy it again. We just need to update the random pointer to point to the one. 
So that's essentially what you want to do. We'll just BFS through the entire tree, copy things if they don't exist yet, uh, and then just update those pointers um, in the copy to whatever their you know left and right uh, copies should be. So if that's a little bit confusing, don't worry. When we go to the code editor, I'll walk you through it line by line, and it's going to be super simple. It's a lot easier to kind of read it in code than it is to walk through the example. But that's the general gist. We have a dictionary which stores our uh, copied values and we're just going to use a BFS um, to basically iterate through this tree and copy things as we go through it. And remember that we need to link um, the things in the tree based on the original structure. So if the original node had a write node, then we need to update the copy to also have that because obviously it needs to be linked um, the same way as the original tree. So I will see you in the code editor. Let's type this out. It's really simple, really straightforward and not that hard to understand. So I'll see you in the code editor. Right, back in the code editor, let's type this up so the first thing that we want to do is check whether or not we have a root if our root is null then there's nothing for us to copy we can simply just return null so we're gonna say if not root uh, then we're just gonna return none here because obviously there's nothing to copy now remember that we need a copy dictionary which is going to keep track of our uh, copy here so uh, sorry the copies where the key is going to be the old value and the value is going to be the uh, new copied value so we're gonna say copy dict and we can initialize this uh, with the root and let's make a copy of the root. So we call node copy because remember we are returning the node copy class here and we're just going to pass in root.val. So that is going to copy the root. Uh, and now we need to actually remember do all the linkings, the left and the right and this random pointer that we have. So let's set up our queue. So we're going to use a BFS. So we're going to use a queue here. So we're going to set up our queue and we're going to pass in the root. And uh, now we just need to process the queue and basically just copy all the nodes and do all of the linking for the left, the right, and the random pointers. So we're going to say while queue, uh, the current node that we're working with is going to be whatever is at the top of the queue. So we're going to pop from the left of the queue. Now we need to process, remember the random, we need to process the left and we need to process the right. So let's first check whether or not uh, the random has been cloned. It doesn't matter the order. We're going to say if node.random so if node.random exists and we haven't cloned it already, obviously we don't want to make another clone because there's no point of doing that. And node.random is not in copy dict. So if it's not in copy dict, that means it hasn't been cloned yet. So now we need to clone it. We're going to say copy dict of node.random. So remember node.random is the original node and we need to make a copy of it. So we're going to say node copy and we're going to say node.random.val. And remember that now that we've copied it, we need to also add it to the queue for further processing. So we're going to say queue.append node.random. Now what we need to do, now that we've cloned this uh, value, is we need to actually update our, um, you know, dictionary here. Uh, sorry, we need to update our original node uh, with, the, with the random pointer, right? So we copied our current node. And now we need to actually update its random pointer. So we're going to get that copy. So we're going to say copy dict of node. So this is going to fetch the copy of the node that we're working with. And we're going to say its random pointer is going to equal to copy dict dot get node dot random. Otherwise, uh, and if it's not found, it's going to be none. So the reason we use copy dict.get is because this node might not actually exist in here. And if it doesn't, that's fine. We need to actually set it to none. So if we just tried to do the key lookup, we will get an index error if it doesn't exist. Um, because if it's never been cloned before or we haven't um, processed it, then it won't be in there yet. And that might provide issues for us. So we need to use dot get and pass in none in the case that um, that node.random hasn't been cloned yet. Uh, in the case that it doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, then we just want to set it to none. So that's going to be how we process random and how we process node.left and node.right is literally going to be the exact same code, except instead of random, we're going to be processing left or right. So let's blitz through this. So we're going to say if node.left, so if it has a uh, left child and we haven't copied it, so and uh, node.left not in copy dict, then obviously we need to copy that left one. So we're going to say copy dict of the node.left is going to equal to node copy and we're going to pass node.left.val and we need to then process that value so we're going to pass in node.left to the queue and again we're going to do the same thing so node uh, so the copy dict 
of our current node, its left pointer. So we're updating the, the copy's left pointer to be equal to the node left that we just copied. Uh, so we're going to say copy dict dot get. And again, no dot left or none in the case that there was no left pointer. We want to just update that to be none in the parent. Now we need to process the right, and it's going to be the same thing. So if no dot right and no dot right not in copy dict, same as before, we're going to say copy dict of no dot right is going to equal to node copy of no dot right dot val, and we're going to say q dot append no dot right. And now what we need to do is update uh, the right pointer of our copy for node. So we're going to say copy dict of node um, dot right is going to equal copy dict dot get node dot right and none if it's not found. So that is what we're going to do. Uh, obviously, we're updating the queue uh, inside here. So this is going to keep the, the queue populated. And when the queue finally finishes, that means that we have um, processed everything and copied everything. Now the last thing we need to do is simply return um, the copy of our root. So we're going to say return copy dict and we're going to pass in the root, which is going to return that cloned root and all of our work here, uh, especially these lines will ensure that our copies uh, always have the correct left and right and random pointers as the original nodes did. So we can run this code. Let's just make sure we didn't make any typos here and leak code what is taking so long okay cool so we can submit this now and we can see that it works so how uh what is the time and space complexity for our algorithm here well for the time complexity obviously we're doing a breadth first search through a binary tree so this is going to be a big o of n runtime uh where n equals the number of nodes in the binary tree pretty straightforward and for the space complexity, our space complexity is also going to be big O of n. Obviously, we are copying the original data structure here, so we're going to need you know big O of n space for that, where n equals to again the number of nodes in the binary tree. And then we also have um, you know our queue here, which is going to be storing. Um, you know, helping us with the breadth first search, but this is again just going to be big O of n um, because you know just any breadth first search through a binary tree, the space complexity is going to be big O of n when using breadth first search and actually depth first search because you have the um, stack frames. So that is your uh, solution here. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye.